I'm Jane Elliott. I'm your blue-eyed bitch for the day. You people get in here and sign in. Now. I've come to Australia because we want to do the blue-eyed, brown-eyed exercise in discrimination, which I've been doing with people all in many, many places for many, many years. Take a name tag. Yep. <laughs> Australia doesn't have a unique form of racism. Racism is racism. Sexism is sexism. Ageism is ageism. The dynamics are the same. I'm not here to criticize Australia. I'm here to do an exercise in discrimination based on eye color so that people will understand more about the racism that is in their society. That's what this is about. What color your eyes? Green. Sit down. The core of the exercise is you take away people's power for two and a half hours or for half an hour with adult white, blue-eyed males. You take away their power and you accuse them of being inferior on the basis of a physical characteristic over which they have no control. You set them up to fail, and when they do fail, you blame their failure on that physical characteristic instead of taking responsibility for what you did to them. Are you going to stay or are you going to go? Well, if I'm spoken to properly. You're going to be spoken to properly for a blue-eyed person. Well, I, you know, went to sign the thing. I'm going to go to a group of strangers and without knowing anything about their background, deliberately not learning anything about the background i am going to judge them totally on the basis of the color of their eyes you're either brown or you're non-brown you're not part brown you're not part hey, hazel is technically part brown oh part brown that's like being part aboriginal you're either aboriginal or you're not are you aboriginal i'm the power structure because i'm the person of power i'm the one who can make it happen yes ma'am and keep it off sit i'm the one who can stop it sit i am the boss now, move your leg. I don't have to stand between your legs, and I don't have right. to straddle one. Right. Move your legs over. Okay. I am your prime minister. I am the teacher in a classroom. I am the authority figure. It's not easy for me in this situation to do this, but it's easy for most white folks on a daily basis to do this. I'll make a suggestion to you. Wipe that simpery. I want to please you smile off your face and do it now because you're not going to be taken seriously as long as I see that on your face. I'm going to think she thinks this is a joke. I was asked by a friend of mine to participate in the reconciliation workshop, so that's why I'm here. I'm wondering if I'm going to be punched around if I got told it was on racism. And that's the thing I hate more than anything in the world. A good outcome would be if, if um, people sort of shared their feelings honestly. I'm expecting to be harassed. And I expect that maybe there might be some um, conflict or something like that could arise. I'm not too sure, but I'm quite prepared for it. All right, folks, let's sit down. Let's sit down in the brown-eyed chairs over here. No, not those. Those are for blueies. These rows. Fill up the front rows of the red chairs. All right, people. I'm Jane Elliott. I'm your blue-eyed bitch for the day. You need to know that. Those blue-eyed white people are absolutely certain that everybody in Australia has the same freedoms that they have. <laughs> Has anyone ever said to you, if all Aboriginals acted the way you do, we wouldn't have the problem we have with these people? Many times. I had that said in a taxi uh, just before Christmas. Oh, so you've learned to act white, haven't you? <laughs> I did for survival. Right, right. I'm not criticizing yeah, you. I'm saying, is this a fact of your life? It is. Is this not a necessity? Now. I'm very comfortable with who I'm now. Right, right. Yeah. But did you have to do it to get over? Oh, many of us did. Many yeah. of us did, yeah. yes. Do you think white folks have to do that to get over? No, they're born no. with natural justice and freedom. Sure, you just... Are you a white person? Uh, by colour, yes. Yes, but are you... Uh, I'm a Jewish immigrant. <gasps> so I have a different kind of have discrimination. Have a different kind, but you can keep your Jewishness to yourself, can't you? Uh, yes. Yes, if you choose if, to, you can. If I choose to, Okay, yes. do you think she can keep... Her color to herself? No, but she's gorgeous with it. Yeah. Hey, I spent lots of time trying to get that color. Forget it. You spend time trying to get that color, and you as a white person are going to die of melanoma. You can keep your religion to yourself. I don't know whether you're Jewish unless you tell me so. Yes. Do I know whether she's black? 
I think so. I think I do. And can she cover that? No. I think she can't. And should she have to cover that? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No more than you should have to keep your Jewishness to yourself. That's true. But have there been times in your life when it's a good idea not to let anybody know? Oh, especially when my parents and I went into concentration ah, camp. Yes. That was a good time. Ah, yes. And that was a concentration camp set up by a particular group of people in your country, right? That's right. In this country, how many of you think that aboriginals are in fact in a concentration camp in their own country. Yeah! Now, how many of you have seen any examples of racism, sexism, ageism, homophobia, or ethnocentrism in Australia? <laughs> it is my impression that when Australians say a fair goal for all means if your skin ain't fair, you got to go. <laughs> I'm kind of getting that impression. I may be wrong. Now, how many of you would like to see fewer examples of all those isms in Australia? Then, how many of you are going to cooperate with this exercise? Now, if you're going to cooperate, raise your hand and keep it up. Now, look around the room. Every person in this room has now made a public commitment to cooperate with an exercise in discrimination based on eye color, the purpose of which is to bring an awareness to these white folks that they haven't had before. What happened just then? Did someone come and get you? Yeah, basically we've just been sitting in a room quite quiet, quiet. It's got to the point where we're not allowed to talk at all. Um, somebody's come and got us and just randomly called out two names that we got called out a while ago and we're standing here waiting to see what happens next. Da -da -da. Now I know that Australians like to make a joke of things. That's part of the nature I understand of Australians. If they make a joke of things in here today, are you just going to say it's natural or are you going to say that's the way you people are? That's the way you people, that's are. The way you people are. Now, if we put these ignorant blue-eyed people next to you bright brown-eyed people, would they be comfortable? No. Where are blue-eyed people most comfortable? With their own kind. How many of you have heard that statement before? Absolutely. If we put these blue-eyed people in comfortable chairs that are padded, what will they do? Be comfortable. And once you get them comfortable, what do they do? Stay. They stay there. And then what else? What else, what else do they do this early in the morning? Relax. Go to sleep because that's they get relaxed and then they go to sleep. Do we want them to do that? No. So we put them in the middle of the room in uncomfortable chairs. <laughs> Did we do this to be, be mean to them? Yes. yes. No, 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 people. People are watching and judging you. What? To let them know what it's like to be a minority and having people watching you and judging you. And well, thank you very yeah. much. But did we do it to be mean to them? As well. No. I'll try this one more time. We've been through it. No. Did we do it to be mean to them? No. 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 We did it for their. Good. Now we're getting there. You know the language, don't you? We put them in here for their... And so how should they feel about that? Grateful. And if they aren't grateful, what does that prove about them? They're ignorant. And they're ingrates, and they don't know what's best for them. But I, as a good Christian woman know what's best for these people. <laughs> and if they now, adjust to it all, they're going to be accepted. And if they accepted. can adjust to it all, they will be accepted. Yeah. As long as they don't try to marry one of my children. <laughs> so it's like, like having the yellow star pinned back on again. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, just back upstairs. Now, this is the Khoury test. We are going to take this test. These blue-eyed people aren't going to get, sorry about that, aren't going to know many of these answers because they aren't as smart as you are, they aren't as curious as you are, they aren't as, they don't care as much as you do about people who are different from yourself. You're going to know at least half of these answers because you are caring people, because you are smart, because you do care about those who are different from yourself, and because I'm going to give you the even-numbered answers. Now, this is, <laughs> this is not cheating. This is called maintaining our position of power in this society. We are not going, you are not going to indicate in any way that you have these answers. When you take this test, you're going to move your chairs back as far as you possibly can so that these people can't see your answers. Because if they see your answers, what will they do? 
cheat. They'll cheat. They'll copy them. And believe me, they will. We're going to bring these people in here. They're going to be one of three things. Laughing. We know which ones are going to be laughing. Or they're going to just sit like this and take it. If they just sit like this, and what does this body language tell you? They're not closed minds, they aren't going to learn. Or they're going to be angry. If they get angry and defensive, what are you going to say to them? Sit down and shut up. And what are their other choices? Get out. If they don't like it here, why don't they go back where they came from? How many of you have heard that one before? Yes. How many of you have heard that said to an Aboriginal? Yes. Yes. <laughs> we come from here. And this is your land. <laughs> You're uncomfortable. Yeah. You're uncomfortable. Mm. Most non-indigenous people in this country are not terribly uncomfortable when these things are happening outside this room. Most of them. If you don't think you want to be here, if you can't cope with your discomfort, then you need to be somewhere else. As a white person living in a country where I can just sit back and be on. It, listen it to me. It goes listen against some of my. This uh, goes against everything because, I believe no, in. You listen to me. All right. I have been running workshops and things for many, many years to bring about a better understanding and all that. I was just sharing with you that I do feel uncomfortable then being a perpetrator of the very things that I have been working against. Okay. Creating a better environment so our people can... I've been doing this from when I was about 21 to create employment <coughs> in community. It's just that. I'm not... A violent person, and I just thought I'd share with you. Okay, that's fine. That that's this fine. exercise, but, but I'm happy to stay here as well. Okay. All right, folks, bring him in. Look at this mess. This looked like a very bright group. This looked like a very bright group to you. No. See anybody who looks very interested? No. See anybody who looks very interesting? No. Get in the middle and sit on the chairs where you belong. You don't have a chair? Come up here and sit on the floor. What do you think of the way these people have positioned themselves? Do you think this is the way they should be? Yes, no. If you bright, if you came into a room, no, I don't think they should be. I think we should move the chairs and make them all sit on the floor. Yeah, and no, I can't stretch my legs out enough here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now wait a minute. Let's deal with that. If you came into a room in which the chairs for your group were arranged in rows, two sets in each row, in rows of two, where would you put yourself in front of those chairs? The same. The same. Two sets. Move over where you belong. Do we have to tell these people every single thing? Oh, uh, what about the one I raised? No, oh, yeah. no, no. Put the chair back. Please. Put the chair back. You speak English? Put the chair back. Please. All right, now, you're either my way or the highway. Do it my oh, way or get out of here. Nice way. Out of here. Highway. Now, what have you just learned, people? Hey, dear. What have you just learned? Oh, Oh, not. Oh, has anybody learned in here? Anything in here in the last three minutes? Certainly have. What's the first thing you learned? Let's push them. What? Don't push them. Don't push them because what will they, they do? Get they get They'll get violent. Did I tell that man to behave that way? No. no. Who told that man to behave that way? He did. He did. Who is responsible for his leaving? He, he, he is. Did he have a choice? Yep. Yep. All he he could do one of two things. He could either do it the way I tell him to, or he could leave. What did he choose to leave? What did he choose to do? Leave. 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 Why? He didn't like being told what to do. He didn't like being told he what to, to do. Wanted to be respected. He wanted to be respected, but he's a military man. Mm. He's old. He's to okay. for that generation too. Watch your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no
context. As he and I are in the same generation. As an <laughs> Anglo elder man, he's, he vets how they, they, they act because they, they know everything about the world. They're brought up in racism. Um, they don't like being told what to do by women. Um, and that's what I was reflecting that. Okay. Mm. And when he said, do you speak English? Yeah. Oh, yes. And what I was... think he's racist. <laughs> you think he's what? racist? Yes. How many of you think he might be just a little bit racist? Oh, I think so. How many of you think he might just have a speck of sexism there? Oh. Yay! <laughs> if it was differently conducted, I'd be very interested to do it. And uh, I'd have something to say, too, but... It's impossible for me, with my nature, to accept that sort of behaviour. Speaking to a grown man, you know. Like a... Now, the first thing you people are going to have to do is learn the listening skills. Do you know the physical aspects of the listening skills? No, I think you should teach me. Do you know the physical aspects of the listening skills? Listen to this. No, I think you should teach me. <laughs> is the boy in a controlling mode? You see that sign up there that says smart blue-eyed is an oxymoron? Do you see that sign? <laughs> Do you know which is your left hand? Maybe he does. Raise your left hand. I know. Raise your left hand. Don't tell me what you know. Raise your left hand. I know I'm a little. Raise your left hand. Well, is this too hard for him? Yes. Why doesn't he want to raise his left hand? He doesn't know. Because, because, because he, he wants to control. Because I'm telling him. He doesn't want to be told what to do. He doesn't want to be told what to do. He doesn't want to take orders. Yeah. He doesn't think this is fair. Do I care? No. He's not no. smart enough to understand what you're saying. What? Maybe not. Mm. Raise your left hand. I think it's something to do. You're going to play this no, defy the teacher all day? <laughs> well, defy the teacher. Is that what you're playing? You're acting like a third grader. Mr. Guard. Someone's what is the teacher? We need this man out of here. Yes. He's got an attitude. Yes. Take, Take him out of here. Take him out of here. Take him out of here. Why don't you just be quiet and learn? There's more giving up. I am participating. I am participating. You're not participating. By in fact, you are going up now. Because he wants to be the teacher. He does not want to be in the blue-eyed group. He wants to be a teacher. Take him out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Can't you learn something? No, you can't learn anything whilst you're busy patronising people. No, you so can't, you can't learn anything much. while you're being told that we're blue eyes as opposed to everybody else who apparently yeah. can learn. That's now, that's how manipulation is going. We've had, we've had, we gave him, did we give him a chance? No, you didn't, you just uh, told him a chance. Did we give him a chance? We gave him a chance. Did we give him a chance to make a choice? He's a troublemaker. Did we give him a chance? Did we give him a chance? Yes. Did we give him a chance? Yes. Did we give him a chance? Did we give him a chance? You'd think we didn't give him a chance. Did you think we gave him a chance? Did he have a chance to shut up? Did he have a chance to shut up? Yeah. Did he? Did he? Several. Did he? Several. Thank you very much. No, I think I've, I've tested the limits a bit, a, a bit too far. <laughs> so it's a bit of a disappointment, but there you go. I've, 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 uh, I've gone out of my way to work out what the, what the limits of the game were, and I've found out what they are. Now, I'm going to teach you the listening skills. Be sure you put your name on the front of that tab. I want you to write exactly what I say, exactly as I say it. Don't use any mnemonic devices. Don't use any contractions. Don't use any symbols other than letters and numerals. Write exactly what I say. Don't take notes. Write every word. Number one, good listeners have quiet hands, feet, and mouths. Good listeners have quiet hands, feet, and mouths. What do you suppose you should have on your paper? Black pen, Campbell pen. What should you have in front of the sentence? A one, right? And then what are you going to write? Well, I've forgotten that. I know that you have forgotten because you can't remember things for any length of time, can you? All right, now I'm going to say it again. Thank you. Can you see really, really well with your glasses on top of your head? Yes. Yeah, Do you have, eye, you have eyes in your head? Don't Thank you very much. Sorry. That's ever so much better. Good <laughs> listeners have quiet hands, feet, and mouths. Let me see yours. Good listeners have quiet hands, feet. I like the way you go from cursive to... Manuscript. I mean, you know, from manuscript to cursive. That's that's really interesting. Let's yes. be consistent, shall we? Yep. In the future, let's either do it one way or the other. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Did you ever hear?
hear of a redundancy? You know what a redundancy is? Mm. What? They give you money and you leave your job. <laughs> because you are redundant, right? Oh my God! <laughs> redundancy. Redundancy is needless repetition, like too much eyeshadow. Needless repetition. Now, aren't you the one I corrected for that very same behavior? Did you not hear me correct her? Did you hear that? I'd already done it. Did you hear me correct her? I did. So what should you have done after I corrected her? What should you Perhaps have done? Perhaps I should have crossed it out or rubbed it out. Perhaps you should have? Would you like to amend that statement? What should you have done? If you had done it right, or if you had corrected it, would you be on the hot seat now? Probably, because I smudged there. Would you be on the hot seat for this if you had done it, corrected it immediately? Who's the reason you're on the hot seat right now? Who's responsible for you being on the hot seat right now? I am. Um... Thank you very much. Now, I want you to be responsible for getting rid of the redundancy. Getting rid of the redundancy. It doesn't rub out properly. It smudges. Getting rid of the redundancy. All the rest of these people have made contributions to your learning this morning. And you are only relating your learning to what you're learning from me. Because you and I... You and I can learn from one another, but we don't want to learn from those who are different from ourselves. It's about the way you can, uh, uh, she's teaching now, that's different than what you've been taught. We had to put up the white man's education right through school. The white man's history, well, there wasn't our history. When I was in year seven, I didn't even know where I come from. That, well, I, I thought Captain Cook discovered Australia. And I didn't know I we were lost. I understand that that's exactly the way but the situation just, happened, and I feel sorry that that's what happened, but I can't change that in the situation that I'm in now. But just different the, the way you're behaving, behaving, you're behaving is, not, is, is not suitable to, to, to brown people, right? We're looking at you, we're listening to what you're saying, we're, we're watching your reactions, we're watching your body language, and you are resenting... No, but you're the... saying I have attitude, which is not... I'm clearly uncomfortable in the situation. But, I mean, it's but, not but attitude. But if you're... If you, if you, your blue eyes and blonde hair, not blue right, eyes, you, should be, you should be able to answer the questions, yeah, yeah. right? You're the educated <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually done. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Caroline said she can't understand. Wait, 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 she wait, can't wait, understand because... Wait a minute, wait a minute, who's she's Caroline? She's chosen not. Wait, wait, who's Caroline? This, this lady here. here. No, she's blondie. Well, that's what I said. Uh, that's exactly she's blondie. I said blonde, blue Just eyes. Wait a Take uh, off your name tag. And she said she's not. Take off your name tag. Let's Put the word blondie on that name tag. <clears throat> and hurry up, please. We're, we've spent enough time on you, too, now. Have you learned anything this morning yet? Yes, I have. What have you learned? To look at the listener when they're speaking. Anything else? Um, to be more considerate of the other person's position and listen to what they're saying. Anything else? I can't think at the moment. Have you learned anything else this morning? Have you learned anything by what happened in here early on? Oh, uh, yeah. What? Um... I can't write quite word word at the moment, really. What about you? <laughs> Do you write it down? What? To be quiet. Is that all? <laughs> and listen to you and not to give a grumpy face at you. Yeah, does that teach you something? That I have to listen to you. Is that all? And I have to conform to the way you want me to be and not how I am. Yeah. Does that teach you something? Yeah. yeah. That I'm insignificant. Yeah, does that teach you something? Yeah. Yeah, what does that teach you? I'm worthless. What does that teach you? If I can make you, if I can convince you that you're worthless in the 40, about 45 minutes that you have been in here this morning, simply by forcing you to conform to my rules, which are totally arbitrary and totally unfair and make no sense to you whatsoever, if I can convince you that you're worthless in this situation in 45 minutes, what could I do if I did with this with you for... 30 years. You could take away myself being and who I am. I surely could. And what if I did it to your children? Um, I think I'd be fairly upset, yeah. You'd be fairly upset? And what if your upset caused more problems for your children? 
I'd have to stand back and let it happen. You'd have to stand back and let it happen. So how many of the Blue Eyes know about the 1937 meeting in Canberra that brought in the policies to remove, forcibly remove two Aboriginal children from their families? And you know what it said? It went on to say, and in 50 years' time, we won't have an Aborigines problem. So it was a deliberate breeding out program. And that's what many of us have suffered for all our lives, searching for our families, our identity, and all those sorts of things, that I've been trying to educate non-Indigenous or white Australians to improve things for my people because of my experiences and the impact it has on our identity, our whole well-being, and yet you can't even sit and listen and learn in an exercise like today, which epitomises the attitudes and the arrogance and the difficulties that we still have in this country every day. I was 30 years old when I found my mother again and within weeks lost her. And she's never been seen it since. I'm a stolen generation and I work with stolen generations as try and get an apology from this nation for what happened to us. And you know the other thing? While I was growing up in institutions, I never had any of my other siblings, never had a childhood with them. And you know what? They're all still alive today. I've got my older sister who's 80. That's what we're dealing with in this country. I never had any of my Aboriginal family at my wedding when I got married, when I graduated from the Royal Adelaide Hospital as a nurse. You can't even sit and listen. And that's what we're up against, is that deafness in this nation. Let's see if you can remember the things that you've learned over the years. This is called the Cluri Test. I'm going to give this to you blue-eyed people. The brown-eyed people have a copy. We're all taking the same test. This is not unfair. We are all taking the same test. I want you to put an answer, a letter, on the line on the left side of each of these items. One answer on each line. You are going to have 10 minutes to take this test. We are all taking the same test, all right? This is not a plot. I'm going to read the answers to this test. Now you have some of you have two test papers, your own and somebody else's. You're going to have to check somebody else's test while you're checking your own. Now we wouldn't have to do this if it weren't for these blue-eyed people, but I can't trust them to check their own test. Number one, C. Four should be D, as in dummy. Number twelve is A. Number 20 is C. All right, I'm going to read these names. I want you to tell me the scores. Erica, what's your score? 15 right. 15 right? Is that your own score? 15, yep. very good. Yep. Who has Ray's score? I do. What's Nine. Ray's score? What? Nine. Nine? I don't want her IQ, I want her score. Huh? Nine? Nine. Where's Ray? Go get your paper. Now, let me point out to you what just happened here. You corrected her paper. You did her work for her, right? You corrected her paper. Did you do her a favor? Yes. Yes. You didn't have to do that work, did you? No. I told you to go and get your paper, right? What did that mean to you? I should have thanked you. But before that... When I said, go and get your paper, did I mean, make that woman lean as far forward as she can so that you only have to take one step to get your frickin' paper? No, I just, no. No, that is not exactly not what I meant. What should she have done? Walked right over to me. Walked right over to you and done what? Said thank you. Collected her paper. Got in the paper and then said what? Thank you. Thank you. Did you do any of those things? No. Why not? 
Well, I was told not to speak, so mm -hmm. it was. No. We were told to be quiet. Wait a minute. Yeah. She was told not to speak. Is she looking for... And she, are, you, are you talking now? Yes, I am. So it was... You applied the rule then, but you aren't applying it now, right? That's right. And that's the reason you didn't say thank you is because you were told not to speak. You were standing here talking while they were out, weren't you? You are full of... Like a Christmas turkey, darling. Eva, is it Eva? Yes. What's your score? 16. 16 good scores. Who has Melissa's paper? I've got Mel. Mel? Mel. Mel? Yeah, M-E-L. We don't have Mel. a Mel here. We have Mel. a Melissa. Yeah, I don't think she can spell properly. Mm. She All can right. spell Mel. Yeah. Ain't that swell? Well, that's easier. That's small. <laughs> that's three letters. Three letters, right. Yeah. Is Mel a little lazy? Mm. I suppose it, she wouldn't wouldn't happen to be Blondie, would she? No. Where's no, Mel? Blondie's friend. Blondie's friend. Mel's Blondie. Melissa, are, are you Mel or Melissa? Yeah. Do you know who you are? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, she's got a thing. Gerald. She's blonde. She's got a thing. My birth certificate says that my name Your is... Your what? My, my birth certificate says my name is Melissa. Your birth certificate yes. says your name is Melissa. Yes. And didn't you sign in, Melissa? Um, that is what's been written down for me. Have they get that information? Yes. Mm -hmm. Didn't you yes. sign that? Yes. yes, I did sign that. Yes. That is what's been written yes. down for you? Yes. No, well... Bullshit. No. Nobody <laughs> wrote that for you. <laughs> wrote that for you. Can you just hit me or something? Who wrote, <laughs> who wrote Melissa on this paper? I did. I already said that. I did. Oh, it wasn't written for you, right? I misunderstood what you meant by signed in as. Did you sign in, Melissa? Yes. That's your writing, right? Yes. And you're a very nice writer. Thank you. You just can't remember how to spell your name for long periods of time. <coughs> What's your score? Uh, two. <laughs> two? Two? Yeah, two out of 20. Two out of 20. Two. Go get your paper, Melissa. Don't you even think of walking in front of her to do it. <laughs> All right, who has Carolyn's paper? Blondie's paper. Who has it? What? Six? Six. Would you like me to go and get my paper? What are you waiting for? An Can invitation? Yes. She wants to take me. Read that sign. I know, that's why I was... Don't okay. read the sign. Blue eyes are looking for, are looking for someone to take care of I'll read it again. Get it Blue right. Blue eyes are looking for someone to take care of them. Is that what you're doing? Yes, I am. Well, do you think I'm going to do that? Yes, I do. No, I'm not. <laughs> do what you're supposed to do and do it now. Did she know what she was supposed to do? Yes. yes. Is she being defiant? Yes. Is she trying to get me to take care of her? Yes. Is that good for blue-eyed people for her to act like this? No. no. Riley, what's your score? What's Riley's score? Riley's score is seven. Riley's score is seven. Where's Riley? Look at how she just gets up and goes and gets her paper. Now, is she a proper blue -eyed? Annalisa, is it Annalisa? Yeah. What's your score? 14. 14, very good. Now, people, you can't judge these people's IQs by these scores, your intelligence quotients, but you can judge their caring quotients. White people's number one freedom is the freedom to be totally ignorant about those who are different from themselves. And our number two freedom is the freedom to deny that we're ignorant. And our number three freedom is to say to people who are different from ourselves, when we, who accuse us of making a racist remark, well, you took it wrong. Still got a long way to go before people take, um, they own or take responsibility to their contribution to racism against Aboriginal people in this country. Um, and I do understand there's a lot of racism throughout the world, but I'm to, I'm, I can only talk for, from a perspective from here. Um, I think my, my own experiences is having um, guns placed on my 15-year-old son's head when he'd done nothing wrong, having been um, 
sterilised when I'd um, gone into hospital and I told them I was Aboriginal and they would seen my husband with me, came out with no tubes. So I get annoyed when people tell me that they know what I'm experiencing or know how I feel or whatever. I can't go to another country. This is, this is the country I come from, you know, like, and it doesn't matter how long you're going to be here, you're going to experience that stuff. Now I want you to write three adjectives. Three adjectives that describe how the people in the other group look to you during this exercise. May I see your paper? Well, you're the only one that's done it right so far. Okay, we're going to read these three words. Read your three words, how they looked. Defensive, anxious, and self-conscious. Defensive, anxious, and self-conscious. That's how these folks look to you. Read yours. Uncomfortable, silly, defiant. Mm. Uncomfortable, silly, defiant. Yours. Apprehensive, pensive, and smug. Smug. Mm. Read yours. Yeah. Tense, apprehensive, and oh, I had sort of toss up between arrogant and smug. Mm. Read yours. Tired, sad, and angry. Tired, sad, and angry. Any of you blue-eyed people, you look sad. Any of you feel sad? What were you, were, did you feel sad? Yes. What were you sad about? Uh, sad that, that uh, this exercise is very necessary. Sad that this exercise is necessary? Yes. And that's a crime. That this exercise, or anything like it, is necessary in 2001 going into 2002 is an absolute crime. It's a crime. What are yours? Smart assed, confused. Smart assed? Yes. <laughs> well, okay. Confused. Intimidated. Intimidated. Any of you people feel intimidated? Yeah. You felt intimidated? Yeah. You felt intimidated? Stand up. <laughs> I intimidated you. No, not you, the oh, whole the whole, the whole group. <laughs> oh, the brown eyes intimidated. Oh, the brown eyes intimidated you. How? Um I think because I realise now how they feel. Uh, I know this is only for today. Uh, I thought I understood the um, the brown eyes more than I do. And I've learned a heck of a lot from today, but yeah, I felt quite intimidated by them as, as a whole. You know something? When you came up the step this morning, mm. are you a teacher by any chance? No, I'm not. What, what are you? No. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I'm a police officer, actually. Oh. 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 When you came up the when you came up the walk this morning, mm. I looked at you and I thought, I'm going to get that broad. <laughs> First thing I thought, because you had my walk. You had the power stroke, you had the power stride, and you had your briefcase. Yep. <laughs> and you had your your security blanket. You had your power in your hand and your purse under your arm or over your shoulder. Which one was over it? Over your shoulder, I think. Over your shoulder, and you had the stride. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm gonna go after her, I'm gonna fix her wagon. And then you came in and you were one of the good ones. <laughs> Thank you. You were. You were one of the good ones. And you listened and you paid attention. And I thought, did I misjudge her? And now I know you're a police officer. Mm. I didn't misjudge you. No. She knows no. how to survive. Yeah. What? She knows how to survive. She knows how to survive a female in a non-traditional job, right? Yep. Yeah. And you've learned how to survive. And you hear this crap, I suspect, a very, very, a lot of the time. Mm. I do. Yours. Uh, afraid, threatened, and stupid. Afraid, threatened, and stupid. stupid. Were any of you people afraid this morning? You were? What were you afraid of? Being belittled. Being belittled? Why did that make you afraid? Because I lose power. You lose power? Were you afraid you were going to lose control? I was afraid perhaps I might lose control of myself and perhaps cry, but I wasn't going to give you that. That's just exactly what I thought you were doing. Were you? Did you work really, really hard not to lose control and cry? Not really hard, but harder than I normally would. Harder than you normally would. And is that difficult to try to learn in a situation in which you're trying to control and keep yourself from crying? No. Oh, it isn't? Hmm, would be for me. I'm trying to think happy thoughts. What? I'm thinking happy thoughts. Oh, sweet Jesus. Mm. I was thinking things that weren't making me upset. When I was coming down on you, you were thinking happy thoughts. She's thinking don't. 
Don't get angry. Don't let her get to you. This is only pretend. And you were doing what white folks can do. You were divorced. You were just removing yourself from the situation. Can you do that? No. Is it real when it happens to you? Yeah, it's real every day of my life. Yes, and had you better be aware that it's going on? No. You're aware of it. And had you, you better pay be attention to it? it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And if he doesn't pay attention to it when he comes to your department, is he in big trouble? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, what you did was called escape. <laughs> you went into your little blonde head, and you escaped so that you didn't have to relate to what was happening to you. That's white freedom. You walk into a, uh, a big chain store, walk to the store to have a look at some sporting goods. You hear over the, you hear over the intercom, can security go to the sports section? I'm the only one in the store. They walk straight around the corner and said to me, "What are you doing?" So my my reaction was, "What the fuck do you think I'm doing?" how you felt intimidated insecure and stereotyped do you usually feel intimidated insecure and stereotyped no hell no not with those white teeth and that blonde hair and that cute body you never feel that way do you you know and i know <laughs> and those are new those are new expense a new experience for you read yours uh, suppressed misunderstood and annoyed suppressed misunderstood and annoyed and annoyed you think i don't understand you definitely you definitely yeah. think I don't I'm understand sure. you. Yeah, you have no idea where I come from, what I've been through, and, and, and what I've, uh, I've done. Do I care? Life. Obviously not. No, why but should I? Turn around and say <laughs> that I don't know nothing about prejudice. I know more about prejudice than anyone in this room. How do you know that? Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Hey, I was born in Greece. I came over here on a boat, okay? Oh. I worked in a fish shop when I was 10 years old. I had no one come up to me and say, wog this, wog that. I had what color is your skin? What does it matter? Does. Huh? Does. Ab Aborigin used to come into the shop and say, hey, well, I can't, can't, mummy, I can't. You know what I mean? Come on. Yeah. That happens to you, but hey, it happens to me. It happens very soon. I know what you're thinking is you're, we are minimizing your suffering. Definitely. Yeah. You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea what it's like to go into a school. You can't speak the language and everyone's telling you, hey, you talk wog. Is he telling his Greek, his French? It doesn't matter, mate. It's all wog. You can talk wog. Come on. Why do you think we don't have any do, do you really think, do you really think that the aboriginals in this room have no idea of how that feels? I'm not saying they don't, but how you experience that other people do, okay? Just because you've got blue eyes, mate, don't mean that everything's been hunky-dory. Do you have, what's your name? What's your name? What's, what's your name? My name's Terry. Was your name Terry when you came here? No, it wasn't. What was it when you came here? <laughs> it was, I was What? Eleftherios. Eleftherios. And how did it get changed? It got changed because um, the teachers couldn't write my name. And it was all such a, um, such a hassle. Everyone used to call me Alphabet and One. Alphabet and One. And One. I can sympathize with you up to a point. I can even empathize with you up to a point. And the point is where I look at the color of your skin and know that no matter how different you are in other ways, you're still white. I thought that um, it's, it's a good experience. You can see some real emotion on some of the blue eyes behalf. Read yours. Uh, nervous, uncomfortable and interested. You were nervous? What were you nervous about? About what might happen. What were you uncomfortable about? Also about uh, what might happen. About what might happen? What did you yeah, think might happen? To me. Oh, I was expecting to be intimidated and harassed a bit. And, and were you? Challenged, yeah. Yeah, but mostly you too. Just weren't you glad you were sitting at the back of the room? Definitely. Yes. Yeah, and that was really good for you too, wasn't it, to sit at the back of the room? <laughs> well, I should have put you. Yeah, I should have put you at the front of the room on the floor. Seriously, people who get off the floor say, "Thank God, I'm off the floor." It makes a big difference not having you look down on me. Now, read your words about how they looked. Did you read how they looked? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Um, confident, powerful, and relaxed. You people on the, in the brown-eyed group look comfortable, powerful, and relaxed. Read yours. Big, powerful, and confident. Big, 
powerful and confident. I look big to you. Yeah, right now. <laughs> Stay down. Great yours. Race is powerful, race. organized, and threatening. Powerful, organized, and threatening. Read yours. Aggressive, annoyed, and offense, offensive. Aggressive, annoyed, and offensive. Read yours. Sad, powerful, and a listener. They're a listener. listener. Yes. Well, that's a valuable thing to be, isn't it? Read yours. Strong, scary, and dominant. Strong, scary, and dominant. Now, these people described you as strong, scary, dominant, blah, blah, all that good stuff. Read how you felt. I felt equal, relaxed, and comfortable. He's working across with the brown eyes. Was this a good experience for you, having being being on top for a change? Yes. Yes. Is that kind of a relief? Yeah. Yes. Little. And if you if you are on top and you feel what'd you say, relaxed? Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh, and equal. And equal. Then why would you give it up? I don't want to give it up. Read yours. Angry, surprised, and sad. What were you surprised about? Uh, I've sat on both sides of the fence. And I like it better not having a colour that's on my face all the time. Don't you, though? I do. Is that honest? Is that an honest Painfully, reaction? Painfully, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes. You know, read your... I was comfortable until you moved me from the back to the front. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had you get up and pick this guy up and take him out of here. Read the other two. Uh... I felt comfortable, powerful, and I was a bit apprehensive about what was going to happen. I was satisfied, satisfied, and satisfied. Satisfied, satisfied, <laughs> satisfied, yes! It's a walk a mile in my shoes sort of mentality, and uh, without that experience, whilst people can say, look, I understand where you're coming from, um, that's a load of garbage because they're just, no one's lived the life that I've lived or other people have, like myself have lived, so if they have it for a couple of hours, then so be it. And if they go out and do something about it, then that's good. It's not much fun being on the receiving end of completely illogical um, abuse all day, I suppose. And probably gives you an insight into how the people have to live their lives. You know, you think you know intellectually but you don't internalise it until you go into this kind of situation where your emotions are being drawn on. Certainly not going to forget how this feels. Not, not very quickly, not very quickly at all. I'll tell a lot of people about what happened, um, whether or not that makes them change or not. I think everyone will probably have to experience it themselves to, for it to make a, a real difference. I'm dealing with the Aboriginal people and I want to understand more of the, about their culture, the way they feel and the way they think today certainly has brought that out. I found it very, very rewarding, very frustrating, and I, at times I felt quite intimidated, cranky, angry, but I think at the end of the day I'm going to take a lot away from here, and it's been well worth coming. Hopefully, if we change one one person's life, and change, change away one person thinks, so hopefully it'll be good. It was fantastic, the fact that we were to conform to an unfair system and there was no way out and we were going to be punished if, if we or in some way emotionally derided if we weren't going to conform even though uh, the spirit is jumping up and down I guess. Well, I think the exercise is good in the sense it's making the white Australians the blue eyes realise that they also have a responsibility to to understand the history and to help change things for us. Yilo Wujiangala, and that's a Bunjilung phrase for where are you going? Okay, so where are we going? Yep. That's the question we should all ask ourselves. If we do nothing, nothing will change. Mm -hmm.